Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn chapter 3, sequence and series with subtopic 3.1. After this lecture, suppose the student should be able to write the end term of simple sequence and series. First of all, what is the difference between sequence and series? Sequence is the least number arranged according to a specific rules or pattern. Series is the sum of sequence up to a certain number. For these examples, the first examples, there are a comma sign between the two number. Therefore, this is called sequence. For the second examples, there is a plus sign between the two number. So this is called series. There are two types of sequence and series, which is finite sequence and infinite sequence. So what is the meaning of finite? Finite means the sequence and series has last term. The second is infinite sequence and infinite series. So what is the meaning of infinite? Infinite means the sequence and series has no last term. So the sequence and series end up with three dots. Example one, find the n term of the sequence 2, 5, 10, 17, 26 and so on. As you can see here, this sequence do not follow a math rule. It just a list of number. Then how to find the end term? The answer is by try and error. 1 plus 1 equals to 2. The second terms, if we have 2, Plus 1, it is not equal to 2. It is equal to 3. So how to get 5? By try and error, we square the first terms. 2 squared equals to 4. Plus 1 equals to 5. For the first terms, so do the same thing. We have 1 squared plus 1 equals to 2. And try for the third one, the third Terms, we have 3 squared plus 1 equals to 10. What is our n terms? n terms is follow the pattern here. So we have n squared plus 1. Proceed to example 2. Find the n term of the series 5, 11, 21, 35, plus 53, and so on. So the first term is 5. So how to get 5? The second one is 11. So by try and error. So we have 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus 1 is equals to 3. So how about plus 3? So now 11, we have 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. How to get 11? So by try and error, try to square the first terms. 2 squared 
in the bracket terms in the bracket so 2 squared equals to 4 4 times 3 4 times 2 is equals to 8 plus 3 is equals to 11 the third term is 21 by try and error following the same pattern and get 21. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 3 is equals to 21. So, by using this pattern, we have the Tn terms is 2 times n squared plus 3. So, this is the n term. Example 3. Find the n term of the sequence. 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and so on. As you can see here, every number is increased by 3. So this sequence follows a specific rule, which is aromatic sequence then this can be learned in our next video okay before we end our lecture please do this exercise and submit the answer to your lecturer